singing of the struggle. The struggle to be everything you want to be in this crazy world. Weasel News. Murder in Algonquin. Police say lawyer Tom Goldberg was killed in his Algonquin office today. Officials are investigating all of the recent cases he had been working on to look for leads. He was an activist against the government, the police department, and corporate corruption. So suspects are innumerable. Jenny Acorn, Weasel News. More news on the serial killer. The city is in panic as the serial killer that has been tormenting the metropolitan area seems to have struck again. This time a man out walking late at night in Dukes had his limbs stolen but his head left on, making the ongoing task of giving this killer a nickname even harder. Citizens say they've had enough. I blame the lack of morals in this town. The strip clubs, the drug dealers, the whole fucking place. Nico, tell me it weren't you that shot up the strip club in Wuhan. You asked me to help out Dwayne. That's what I was doing. Don't help him out when it fucks up my business interest. Damn, son. That ain't cool. got you kidnapped by the Russian mob. That was a cold streak. Now I'm hot, cousin. Hotter than the models will be bedding. I can't lose! Roman, we have spoken about your gambling. Wait until you see the new place, Envy. You'll change your song. So what, I took on a little dead. All I'm saying is that we'll all be judged in the end. All of your brothers. And you, Patrick. And you, Kate. Who's gonna judge Kate? What would she win if they did, Virgin of the Year? Oh. I'm thinking maybe you can catch VD for both Fuck of us, you, Patrick. Fuck you, Katie. Language. Sorry, Ma. Ho oh, ho, there he is. Mr. Fucking Crazy Man. You want a beer? No. Good, because I ain't fucking got none. Very funny. Maybe if being a drunkard doesn't work out, you can be a comedian. Fuck off! <laughs> and you, Kate, fuck off out of here! But aren't you going to introduce us? Sure. This is Nico, some drug dealing to fucking generate from some armpit in Eastern Europe. That's my ma. Nice to meet you. Hi. And this is my sister, lovely lass, scared to bits of life, and fucking off out of here right now before I throw a fucking bottle at her. Patrick! Nice to meet you. Likewise. See you around. Bye. What a girl. I think she likes you. Word to the wise, though, she don't put out. Which is convenient, because if she did, I'd have to kill you. Understood. Good lad. You got any drugs on you, boy? No. Shit. Well, probably a good thing. We got some business to take care of. Come on. We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. Okay, there's a ship coming in and we're the welcoming party. Who are we welcoming and what have they got that makes this drive worth the effort? We're welcoming some of our cousins from the east. But we don't know what it is that they're bringing in, exactly. 
All we know is that it's worth a dollar or two. My brother Gerald had word about it through this Italian, Ray Bacino. He gave us the heads up in exchange for a cut of the haul. What makes you think that the information is legit? First off, I don't trust this guinea for a second. We wouldn't be working for him if our family still had the same status it did back in the day. But that's another story. Am I going to hear this story? Anyone who hangs around my family hears about the old days. Just wait. Oh yeah, Ray Bacino's a slimy motherfucker. The one thing you can rely on him for is greed. I'm too small time to be worth setting up, so the one angle he can be playing is the cash one. Makes sense. Yeah, he'll probably try to give us a fraction of whatever this stuff's worth, but it'll be a fun night. Depends on what you think is fun. A stealing, gunfire, car chases, all the usual stuff. Usual for you and me, baby. The general population, I'm not so sure. General population? That's a prison term. You ever been inside? Not in this country. In Europe, they do things different there. Not so much of the fun in the shower that you guys have here in America. Must have been a real disappointment. Bet a guy like you thought he was gonna be real popular with the lifers. Did no one pay you any attention? As I said, the whole prison bitch thing is an American phenomenon. It don't happen on the other side of the ocean. Well, you gotta do some time over here. See what you've been missing out on in your chaste European jails. I'm going to pass on that. Send me a postcard if you do some time. Will do. Might even put you on the visitors list. I'd be fucking touched. You'd be touched if you did some time, that's for sure. We would see if they'd be able to touch me. I got some moves. You're a good man, Nico. I like you. Not in a fun in the showers kind of way. You know, a male bonding about to go rob some people kind of way. I think I know what you're saying. What's the plan? We get up on the roof of that warehouse. There should be a good view of the dock so we can scope that shit out. We're going this way. man you better be right about this shipment if it's just fish I'm gonna be pretty irritated Pecky This is where the deal's meant to be going down. 
And here's the boat, right on time. See those boxes on the back of the boat? They must be bringing clone meds. Meds? Yeah, stuff that'll stop housewives cutting their wrists and make their husbands get wood. Meds. Molly, sedatives, antidepressants, meds. Okay, how do we do it? We'll wait until the truck is loaded, then we'll take it. Simple as that. I'll cover you from up here while you're down on the ground cleaning up. These better be some good fucking pills. The housewives better be grateful.
We've got business out at the docks in Algonquin. Where's your car, man? We need a car. My brother Jerry's had word from Ray Bacino, his Italian contact, about a big shipment coming in near the fish market. The triads are expecting something and it smells fishy. The fish market smells fishy? Shit, man. I keep forgetting you're not from here. Something smelling fishy means that it ain't quite right. So this shipment smelling fishy means that it ain't gonna be what they say it is. But if it's going to the fish market, they must be saying that it's fish. So? So if this shipment is what they say it is, then it's going to smell fishy anyway. Shut the fuck up. You think you're a right fucking comedian, don't you? Learn the damn language. Anyways, I was in Algonquin last night partying with some sweet college chicks. Yes? You should come along next time. Really? Sure, sure. Guy like you, you'd have a good time. Unless you're hoping to see me sis again. If that's what's going through your brain, then we got ourselves a problem. Oh yeah? The problem's that you'll be letting yourself in for a lifetime without getting action. And I know what happens to a man when he ain't getting any. It ain't pretty. So you got yourself a girlfriend, Becky? I do and I don't, if you know what I mean. It usually means you don't, right? Uh, you're a perceptive guy. I got the lowdown on you from Elizabeth. Some guys I know have checked you out as well. I think me and you could get along. I need a guy like you on our team. Don't you got other guys to help you out? You're from here. You should know everyone. Well, that's the fucking problem. Everyone in the neighborhood, hell, in the whole fucking city knows us. You can't trust people. I only trust my family, some of them at least, and people I don't know. That's why you're on this job with me. Because you don't know me. That and you saved my life. Saving someone's life has got to count for something in this fucked up age we live in. That depends on the life, I guess. Tell you what. I'll snort a load of rails, fuck a lot of drunk girls, get into fights on a nightly basis, and die young leaving a scarred, bloated corpse. That sound like the sort of life worth saving? Most definitely. Don't want any trouble, okay? You choose well, no shit! Shit.
All right, here we are. What's the plan? We're going this way. Don't they make these places easier to break into? No! 
thought they fucked with me! Nico, you drive. I'll take out anyone who tries to follow us. We're going up to Ray's lockup in Westminster off of Union Drive West. Stuff all in there. Sure is. All safe and sound. Whole truckload of it. A lot of wives and mistresses are gonna be happy when they're men gonna hold it all, huh? Whole city's gonna be hard in a few days' time. Who's this? That's my boy Nico. He's an absolute savior. Couldn't have done it without him. Nico! Come over here! You work for these mick bastards. Fucking guinea. I work for whoever's paying. I might give you a call sometime. Get in, Packy. Hey, I'll catch you around, man.
Where to? Tourists in Liberty City are complaining about indecent performances at a local night spot. The Perestroika Club in Hove Beach is home to a wide range of vaudeville performances and has outraged patrons with both the quality and violent content of its acts. Oh, these rotten, dirty Ruskies. What? They're just taking over the entertainment industry in this town. First, the strippers smelling like vodka, and now they want the theater. Go out with the Avenue. Cool. I'll take the long way. You do realize you're a stereo. Here we go. Tip, please. Nico, man, I was out today and I saw this bitch coming out of Nail Place. She looked just like my old girl Cherise, the one you said you killed with Javon outside the arcade. You sure that was her? Dwayne, it was her. She screwed you over while you were inside. She's dead now. Shit, man. I could have sworn it was her. Sorry, man. She's gone. Maybe things could have been different in another life. Word. I have nothing to say to you. I nearly ran into your cousin the other day. My friends were uh, hanging out with him. The party got busted up though before I got there. I wish you had been there. We could have had some fun. Not as much fun as I would have had with Roman, believe me. Come in, Nico. Hi. So, you fought in the war. You know a lot. Yes, you're looking for some people. We're all looking for that special someone. But most of us don't want to kill them when we find them. Most murders are committed by people you know. Most wives are killed by their husbands. Yes, and my wife had better stop sleeping with that tennis coach or... <laughs> I'm joking. I'm sure your wife doesn't need to sleep around. Well, I'm joking. I'm sure she does. Funny. I'm divorced. My wife can sleep with whoever she wants. Interesting. I'm not divorced. I was never married. No details. I need you to go find someone for me. I'll be getting a picture through shortly. This is important. So why use me? We always use people like you. Karen, Michelle, she was the same. 